So instead of getting the Panasonic 12-35 2.8, I picked the Olympus 12-40 2.8 Pro lens. And why did I do that? I'll tell you why, coming up. I figured I'd talk today a little bit about this uh, Olympus 12-40 lens that I got. You know, unless I really needed a vlog like this, I wasn't even using the 12-60 much anymore. I was basically just using the 50mm for everything. Um, but I just really like the versatility of the, it goes really wide, 12mm to 16mm goes pretty far and so I figured um, since I'm starting to do side gigs, um, I wanted to get a lens that was that was better, that was just straight up better and that was that kept the same versatility. And so of course, when a lot of people are thinking about upgrading that kit lens and they want to have that versatility still, a lot of Micro Four Thirds users, they opt for the... Panasonic 12 to 35 um, 2.8 and I was looking into that lens for a while but I started doing more research because I don't want to just buy something just because I'm um, hearing a lot about it I wanted to do more research about some of the other brands because I know that there are a lot of other good products a lot of times that don't get a lot of recognition um, for a lot of different reasons so I started looking at other options that would still give me that versatility and I came upon the Olympus 12 to 40 and um, a lot of people were saying it was sharper in terms of like uh, uh, the, around the center of the image that the same the sharpness was about the same, but around the edges the sharp the sharpness was better on the Olympus 12 to 40, and so that's what kind of sold me. And, and people were saying that it's sharper with even with video, and so the big things that had going for it uh, that swayed me to get this was were, were those two things, and then obviously. The price difference, like if I was going to go with a 12, 30, 12 to 35, I was probably going to go with a version 2 and that one's around like 800 to $900 I think or, or more. And this one, I ended up getting it for 540 on eBay. I saved a lot of money on getting this thing. I've only been using this lens for about like 3 weeks, 3 or 4 weeks. I've used it for 4 or 5 videos now, I took a few photos with it. Um, and so I just wanted to give like my first impressions. First of all, like the build quality. It's just amazing. It's like full aluminum. There's some plastic on it, of course, like um, around the threading. But this thing is like a lot, a lot heavier than the 12 to 60 3.5, and it and it's a pro lens, and it definitely feels like a pro lens. Another big reason that I wanted to upgrade over the 12 to 60 um, was because of the low light capability and the bokeh. Like the 3.5 just wasn't working. Um, a lot of situations, I I really couldn't use it because. I mean, with the Lumix G85, you, I don't really want to go past 3200. Like 6400 is the absolute max that I'll go with the ISO, and um, and so it doesn't really give you a lot of advantage in low light. And 2.8 isn't a ton more, but it definitely makes a difference. I've noticed right away in a couple of the videos um, that I've done already. I wouldn't have been satisfied with the footage that I got with the 12 to 60, I know for sure. The bokeh difference with the 2.8 and 3.5, the depth of field difference, even though it's not that much lower of a stop, like it makes a huge difference, especially um, since it has that 2.8 aperture all the way across the zoom. There's, there's a greater depth of field, the higher the focal length is. And so like 40 or 35 to 40 at that 2.8, is just looks really good and so I'm like really impressed with the sharpness of the lens and video it just looks better I, I, I don't know how to explain I'm not really um, I'm not really tech savvy I don't really know all like the technical terms I don't know how to explain it very that good but it just looks better it looks um, professional to me it, it really upped the quality of the image um, in a lot of b-roll shots I would just offer the using the 50 millimeter over my 12 to 60 and now that I have this like I can I can really pick and choose between the 50 and this. Like I feel comfortable using either one in B-roll shots. Obviously, the 50 millimeter. If I really want to get really shallow depth of field with the 1.7, or really need the low light, I'm obviously going to go for that one still. And then in terms of stills, um, I was really, really impressed with this because because I could I was getting hardly any good images with my 12 to 61. Um, Probably a lot of that was probably I didn't have a lot of experience when I first got the camera and I first got the lens. Obviously I wasn't practicing photography or anything yet, but um, I noticed the difference right away. It's a lot sharper. Um, I took some real estate photos uh, for, uh, for one of the realtors and the samples I'm putting up right now, I definitely am not a good real estate photographer yet. 
so these images aren't going to be impressive in the slightest but um, I can tell that that this one definitely is sharper all the way across the image and when I'm taking portraits like the 2.8 makes a, a big a pretty big difference and it's it just looks sharp like it's something I actually want to share so in terms of the lack of image stabilization in it um, I'm gonna be honest I, I did tell the difference between this and the 12 to 60 like it's not as easy to get the steady handheld shots but um, if you practice enough, it should be fine. Like you, if you still have, I still have the image stabilization in my camera, so it's it's still stabilized handheld, just not as good. But uh, I've practiced with the 50 millimeter a lot that doesn't have any image image stabilization, and so I felt comfortable using this even if it didn't have that. Um, so it's it's not a deal breaker for me. It might be a deal breaker for some people, but it definitely isn't for me. So obviously I can't compare this to the Panasonic 12 to 35 because I don't have that lens. But um, just with the, from the three to four weeks I've been using this, I'm super confident in my decision to buy it. I'm really happy with it, um, and I wouldn't. Ret I'm not definitely not going to return it. I know this isn't really a a review. It's just my first impressions. But I will do a full in-depth review of this in the future. You know, I hope if you're trying to choose between getting the Panasonic 12 to 35 or this lens, I hope that this helps a little bit with your decision, I would say you wouldn't regret getting this. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. It's just my first impressions of the Olympus 12 to 40. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Um, it does make a difference. If you wanna hear my follow-up about this lens and more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the Olympus 12 to 40 as compared to the Panasonic 12 to 35. So if you have any experience with either of these lens, uh, go ahead and please drop a comment uh, below about your thoughts about either lens or both. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.